Hey everyone, uh, we're back. Uh, lost a light, but uh, we'll, we'll manage. Um, so, okay, I've uh, noticed something. I had some ionization happening uh, between the primary and the secondary. So I put in some uh, foam at the bottom there. Just white foam. And uh, seem to space it out, and uh, the lights got way brighter. Um, here, I'll turn it down to where it's the usual brightness. Yeah, it was kind of kind of dim, right? So that's what it's using right now. And that's what I'd call, you know, what I had a normal brightness before. So I'll turn it up to half now. Way brighter. Turn it up to one amp, and you could toast these. looking pretty good. <clears throat> so, no diodes. Uh, but, uh, I've, I'm 
convinced that this is uh, replicating uh, the clockwise counterclockwise concept. So if I center tapped it right here, that would give me a neutralizing effect, and uh, by paralleling the left and that, and then this one with that one, see how they meet. Uh, you don't need diodes and there's no neutralizing effect and it's just like having this coil totally backwards from this coil so that's one thing I've found recently and spark gap can be adjusted uh, <laughs> it's totally cool totally cold to the touch so if your spark gap's heating up, then you've got too much wasted uh, current on the input. So even driving it with one amp, uh, we were getting failure of some of these lights. And, uh, you know, they're obviously being overvolted, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> have a uh, you know, transformer step that down once the caps are charging properly. So... Talk to you guys later. Check out uh, take off one half of this. Ow. Ah. Okay, one sec. So now I'll hook it up with the center tap, if I can, with one hand. So you see that? Now we've got center tapped and the ends joined.
so clearly uh, clockwise clockwise does have a neutralizing effect which can be avoided by simply putting the ends of the coils different orientation Same power, just different hookup. The sparks seem to be really weak when it's uh, really ringing nicely. So that's the ferret. Well, talk to you guys later.